What's going on guys? It's Omni York and today I'm bringing you a brand new video where we're going to take a closer look at everything in my account, all the progress that I've made before we take a look at how much I've spent on Rise of Kingdoms. Now people always ask me, Omni Arc, how much do you spend on Rise of Kingdoms? How much have you spent in total? How much do you spend per month? And I recently saw Chiskel's video talking about how much he spent on his account, which is absolutely mind blowing but he is a sponsored creator and it is what he does. Now, instead of just saying, oh, here's how much money I've spent on the game, I wanted to actually take a deeper dive into my account and show you guys some of the cool things that you might be interested in. And shout out to YouTube user Bramson Ho for the idea. Now, if I'm not mistaken, my account was created on October 23rd, 2018. So that's 811 days ago. As you can see here, I am VIP 15. And we've got a couple of cool things we could take a look at here in the governor profile. You can see I've got around 70 million power. Uh, my kills do rack up mostly in the uh, T4 and T5 range. My amount of kills is certainly questionable. And I gotta say, I didn't really start fighting in this game until after like the first year and a half or something like that. But I know, I know, I'm mostly a farmer. Roast me in the comments. I, I already know you're gonna say it. Now, if we go into the more info tab, you can actually see my highest power ever was 71.3 million. I did lose uh, a bunch of troops during this camp. Well, not that many troops during this KVK. I, I aggressively was healing my hospital and I was only able to join just a couple of rallies because well our time in king's land wasn't very long and the rallies would fill really really fast so you can see here the troop power and the commander power you can see the victories these are like i think these are all barbs right mostly mostly barbs we got 6.2 billion resources gathered 42,805 alliance hopes so you know your boy's always there to click that button so right now i'm in kingdom 1643 and i am ranked 197th in individual power because because my god there are some mega whales in this kingdom and i love it for those of you who are asking yes we did lose this kvk and no i don't think i'll be migrating anytime soon these guys i know i i, I know i said that last time okay but i actually know a lot of the people in this uh in this server i played with them for a very long time so it is what it is but i guess we'll see hey we'll see this is my uh current troop count right here as you can see mostly uh the infantry and cavalry units because i was preparing for the kvk i haven't really even like honestly touched archers too much i have more t5 siege than i have t5 archers so i don't know how no i actually had a boatload of t3 siege and every day i would just upgrade them to t5 because it would take around 22 hours so it would just like every day i'd reset i would have 2000 t5 siege why not this is a look at my achievement window here you can see i'm so close to finishing this engineering here and i don't understand because uh, you can see i've already gathered over 5 billion resources so how i don't have this i don't know obviously I, a lot of those resources must have been gathered before this achievement was in the game or something like that but the game is still tracking it so can't they just like check that little box off for me like hey like we already know he got that how many i don't know whatever we're getting there we're getting there i've uh, only finished the single child of fate here i really enjoy this really this special snowflake i love this one i don't really know what particular achievements you guys would be interested in but uh, i guess you can comment down below if there's any of these that you want to actually see here's a list of all the emojis that i have i don't actually know if anybody cares about this stuff but uh we'll scroll through and we'll take a look at some of the some of the older ones i still i love this Boudica one with the raising the, the, the foamy beer mug that's like probably my favorite i use this one all the time bro all the time they keep adding new ones and i just can't find one that's as good as that one so yeah this is uh these are all the emojis that i do have i don't have all the key arrow ones i don't think um and i don't know some of these obviously i ended up missing out on i don't know which ones they are because i oh i definitely missed out on like some of these joan of arc ones which i'm really upset about because i really like this, this joan of arc crying emoji oh also i don't know how i missed out on like gold tooth sun tzu I, I don't know that's kind of a bummer but it is what it is maybe one day i'll have a way of uh getting them again honestly who cares they're just emojis right let's take a look at these avatar frames uh we got the capitoline wolf i don't actually know which of these are rare i think 
think the rhythm of bamboo if i'm not mistaken i believe this is the first ever avatar frame that they implemented into the game i think it was a five dollar bundle if i'm not mistaken uh and i bought it just to flex on these haters and here we are i don't know how many people actually uh still have that one so yeah well anyway i have 35 out of 65 i don't know which one of these are like the older ones i kind of wish they had like a date you know like sweet summer 2019 or whatever i guess that must have been it i don't know oh we got the autumn dew 2019 anniversary that's a pretty cool one we got going on there uh shifty shades i think that was the original um the original halloween one yeah because this is the newer halloween one entranced uh, witch so i think this was the first halloween bundle that that you could get um black friday with the turkey okay okay got that limited time limited time event one there this one i really like the mayan secrets one you get from the this special snowflake i, I use this one for a really long time as well this one is honestly probably my favorite the uh goldwood frame but uh i am using the the newest one that i just got here because why not i can't believe i don't have the matador's regalia honestly i i don't know I don't know i'm missing some really cool ones i really wish i could have gotten this one from the promotional event i think that would have been sick this is probably one of my favorite ones and i don't know how to get it it says offline events what do you have to be like a sponsored creator like how do you have to go to lilith headquarters and like buy a soda at their at their fountain i don't, I don't know like what how, lilith please reach out to me give me this i don't know how i get this i'll buy a bundle i don't know like come on am i not special enough anyway enough of that you guys don't care about the avatar frames let's collect this garbage you guys probably want to see the commanders so we'll go ahead and jump into the commanders next let's start with a rarity so we've got constantine he's at five five one one um i think that's a good place to stop if you really just want him to be tanky in the open field and also really good in canyon uh we've expertise Cao Cao. we've got uh richard minamoto uh, martel um martel was the most recent uh expertise that we actually obtained which is really sad we have alexander obviously ethel fled and e song a uh we're working on el cid we got five five four one honestly i don't really care too much about him i'm gonna be making a video about el cid really really soon because i just finalized spent a long time finalized a legendary tier list so keep your eyes peeled for that video um we've got Mehmet at five five two three not too bad there honestly I'll probably never use him because I won't invest universals into a gold key commander, but hey, um, working on Sunduk. I'm using all of my uh, pick one commander chests on Sunduk because I think she's the best legendary gatherer. And I, for some reason, finished off Cleopatra first because she was really, really close. And I figured, hey, why not? I'll get those extra bundles. I don't know. Sunduk was probably a better option, but it is what it is. We've got Ashita at 5541. No one cares about him. Julius Caesar at 5523, just like my Mehmed. Uh, he was decent in my canyon team a long time ago, and now I'll never use him again. Um, Frederick was the first legendary that I ever summoned in this game. I brought him right to four stars. <laughs> And since then, he's been messed up and useless. So here we are. It's okay. I think Frederick is like one of the worst legendaries in the game anyway. So it is what it is. We've got Guan Yu. Obviously, you guys saw the Guan Wheel. We got him at 5-1-1-1. If you didn't see that video, check that video out. I think it was pretty hype. We're going to be expertising him next. So don't you guys worry about that. If you guys saw my Genghis Khan videos, I actually got him to 5-4. I then realized that I don't really want to expertise Genghis Khan. So I wasted... Uh... We still have a lot of gems on this guy, but who knows? Uh, maybe one day in the future, I'll come back and, and finish him off if I ever find a really good pairing for him. We have Mulan at 5-1. She's just going to stay there because for some reason, the game put her in gold keys, even though they could have just rotated out Ethel Flood. It's not like Mulan's broken, guys. It's not like, come on. Really? Still salty about how they handled Mulan. I think they could have done something way cooler for her. We've got our Saladin at 2-0. I think eventually I'm gonna get him to 5551 5, because I'm probably gonna pair him with William 5551, 5, 5, but uh he's kind of sitting on the back burner right now because we're focusing right on Guan. We summoned Charlemagne just from uh a card king just to get the five dollar bundle and just to say that I have Charlemagne, because why not? <laughs> um Edward 2-0. I don't care about Edward. Decada, I never I don't know. I'm pr if, if I'm going to have a, a, a cavalry march out in the open field, I'm probably not going to use Takeda secondary. So I never spun his wheels. We do have Ramses at uh, one zero. I think I've yeah, we got seven Ramses sculptures sitting in the bank there. Um, Ramses is one of those commanders who's incredibly good, but I just don't see how he fits into my current commander lineup. I think maybe once I finish Guan Yu, then I can start to potentially look at some other troop types instead of just infantry and 
maybe Ramses is the first one that I look at because Ramses YSG is a great pairing and, and I already have YSG. Uh, Lubu, notoriously hot garbage. Um, I just summoned him because limited time event and because $5 universal bundle. It is what it is. We've got the a lot of epics at level 60 now. I don't know why I did that. I didn't really use that many experience tombs. Kind of grinded them up there, I guess. I don't know. I guess I kind of did for like Herman and stuff because I wanted like the Herman El Cid combo in case I ever needed that, even though I'm never going to use that. But regardless, uh, we got a lot of these guys at level 60. We got uh, Belisarius is climbing up there because he's been grinding the barbs in this KBK. Um, we got Scipio to 58 before we realized that we've got way better legendary options. So hey, there we go. Same thing with old G. not a huge fan of old G. I don't know how my buy bars is only level 48 I feel like I used to use him all the time and <clears throat> we have been focusing a little bit on Dao Chen and Matilda because Matilda I feel like I don't know I just kind of want her to be a higher level but I guess there's no point in that right I don't know have an expertise Gary yet surprisingly I, I just haven't I mean I feel like I buy a bunch of sculptures every time she comes around the event but the event is just so infrequent that I I don't know I just don't I just have an expertise there so and I probably never will use her anyway, so it doesn't really matter, but hey, it is what it is. Yeah, other than that, you can see all the commanders that I uh, don't have, because I'm on a much newer server. I'm uh, certainly going to go for YSS and Theodora. I may go all in on that Theodora Midas Governor. I'm not really sure. I'm thinking if I go all in on her, it'll be really hard to go all in on Zenobia, and she's probably harder to get but i feel like zenobi and theodora are a great combo so i should go for both i don't know we'll see and then of course william comes on the wheel we're definitely getting william so i guess i'll show off some equipment now um constantine actually has the worst infantry equipment of my entire lineup here um we've got the windswept warhelm we got two purples on him here we've got the uh, gatekeeper shield with that special talent it's not as good as the soccer fubuki but it's pretty good because it is infantry health and he already has a lot of infantry health but it's the best weapon I could give him, so it is what it is. Ranger's trousers, absolute garbage. I don't know why the purple legs are so hard for me to get for infantry. Is anybody else experiencing that as well? I don't know. We got the Scarlet Hounds, too. Uh, over here on my Richard, we've got all purple everything. We got the special talent on Quinsoul and on Seth's Brutality, thank God. But we didn't get it on either of the legendaries, which is really frustrating. So it is what it is. We didn't get it on the Delane's Amulet either, so... Thanks, Lilith. Uh, we didn't get it on Abyssal Visage either, which is crazy. I feel like everybody has a special talent Abyssal Visage, but I don't. And then everything else here is green because I don't really use Minamoto that much. And honestly, the Vanguard set is super good anyway, so why would I use anything else? It's just not worth investing all the uh, materials into, so it is what it is. I have like some spare pieces over here on Martell, and I know that I could like break them up and use the materials, but. Um, I don't think I have any other patterns of Quinsoul, and also this already has a special talent, and I know that once I get Guan Yu, there will be the opportunity for me to have um, all infantry marches plus my uh, archer march in my canyon team, so I'm trying to like save pieces for a fourth infantry set, but it's getting really hard to do so. This is my Alexander all purple everything, as well as Call of the Loyal, that five percent extra march speed because alexander's already fast anyway karak's humility took me forever to get and i only had enough blueprints for one and i had to buy the vip random chest just to piece this thing together i don't know why where's the karak ceremony like come on guys what's happening where, where it's been like forever since we've had one i just crafted this second sakura of fubuki as well all my archer stuff is actually on my ethel fled because ethel fled e song is on is is my uh is my team for, is on my Canyon team obviously um, so it's like 90% archers and so we have a bunch of archer stuff on here this has the infantry special talent because before the rework of the equipment system this was actually mainly for infantry and then they changed it to archer so now I have a useless chess piece it is what it is we got the saints song we got the greaves of the exile we also have the staff of the lost which this i crafted as an infantry piece and then they changed it to archer again so it actually ended up working out because she's a savage in my canyon team now because she has esong as secondary i also have the purple gathering set over here on constance this was a ten dollar bundle that came out when they changed the uh the equipment system you probably can still buy this bundle at some point somehow when you get to a certain city hall level or something i don't know but yeah it basically gave you all these pieces and i crafted it because gathering is important and I have the extra cloak over here on Sunday.
All right, let's take a look at some of the city skins here. Obviously, I'm City Hall level 25. Um, I'm France, so this is what it looks like normally, but we've also got Cupid's Arrow. I think this might be the oldest skin that I have. Look at the freaking, it's just so barely animated and it's like so ugly. There's just one balloon that goes up. Oh, two balloons that go up and pop. I don't know, I think this is super ugly. It looks very like low quality. Anyway, we also have the Mother's Day one. This one is slightly newer than that. So we got Temple of Vishnu, we got Magpie Bridge. I used this one forever. I used to use this one forever until I really switched over to infantry. Um, Wailing Keep, I'm so upset that I didn't get the original Halloween skin. Super upset about that. Just, just out of principle. It just, it's so iconic. It, it was just so epic when it first came out. Um, we got Swan's Reverie. We've got Temple of Artemis. I used to use this one a little bit just because it looked cooler than the Magpie Bridge, even though I didn't like it as much. Hibbert Ensemble. I don't know. A lot of these are really ugly, and I got them just because I wanted them. And that's pretty much it. They're just cosmetics that I virtually never use. But hey. They kind of look cool, right? All of treasure is nice. Moment of celebration, very shiny, very cool. I think the White Tower, honestly, is my favorite uh, city skin, which is why I'm using it now. Um, I don't think it's honestly. I think the, um, I think the 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 was it the holiday or the Christmas one. The gingerbread house is probably better than this one, um, just based on how my my team is set up for uh, Canyon, but. I just think this one looks so much better that I don't even care. And we have Har Harvest Cal Cottage as well. Yeah, this is the one, man. Trick or treat. I missed out on this one. It just looks freaking epic. I have the three day uh, one. So one, maybe one day I'll pop this open just to look like a badass one time. But uh, other than that, yeah, we got a couple of the three day ones here. I don't know how I missed the tears of the uh, eternal. Honestly, I think this one looks super cool. I don't know why i just don't think i wanted to invest in it honestly because it's not a skin i'll ever use but it looks really cool and i wish i had it now so hey same thing with this year's christmas one i don't think this looks very good at all yeah plus i already have a cavalry health one super upset i missed the hidden lotus one too i think this was like the first or second yeah this was the first um lucerne scrolls uh skin and i missed that and i don't know how and i wish that i didn't but it is what it is i don't have any uh really secret special anything it's just uh just the ones from like the bundles and stuff some some cool things like that i guess we can take a look at my items now this is my uh resources obviously you can see i'm pretty low on on food here i i was really running low during kbk uh, honestly if kingsland fighting kept happening for much longer I would have had to start popping open these level one resource chests or any level resource chests just for food which is shocking um i probably would have asked my alliance for some first because obviously gold is really what you should be using these on but it is what it is these are the speed ups we've saved up an infinite amount of building speed ups virtually uh we've got a lot of training speed ups here which is nice i think between training and universal i've like I don't know 500 days or so i don't know i didn't do the math or i did the math like two months ago or a month ago and i didn't write it down anywhere because i just was curious like in the moment and then i deleted the like i just erased the calculator app and there we go so yeah we got a lot of universals here um i'm basically just saving all of this for one mightiest governor and i'll probably win it hopefully i don't know we'll see these are my boosts um again these are for mightiest governor we'll be saving these for like the three minutes that i'll get duke and then i'll pop all these and we'll be gucci um yeah we got a lot of attack boosts i really never use those because i only ever use the defense ones because they're just better if you guys didn't know uh we got the anti-reconnaissance for when people try to troll me deceptive shoot this is a stupid item this is dumb right like come on you can just tell based on power how many troops you have like bleh. really should use army expansions more i don't know i uh for a while, I just never used them. And now I've got a ton, so that's great. Oh, let's pop open these. We'll see. Uh, we're looking for mainly for iron ore. So give me that give me that purple iron ore, baby. Let's go. Oh, hell yeah, dude. Yes. Heck yeah. All right. Let's freaking go. Got a bunch of Lohars here. We got a bunch of teleports. I don't know. I didn't have to teleport that much this KVK. So it is what it is. Here's proof that I don't have enough passports to even leave if I wanted to. So there you go. Still got a ton of AP. Uh, I've worked through a lot of it this KBK though. Um, I had like 600 of these before, so or more, 700. I don't know. I've had I 
it's insane how much AP I had. So I'm finally getting down to just the 50s now, which is good. But now the KVK is over, I'm going to be stacking them up again. So whatever. Um, lots of experience tombs here. These I'm going to be blowing through. Obviously, Guan is going to take a lot of this. And then whoever I go for next. I don't know how many legendaries I can get to 60 with this, but it's less than you think. It's probably only like two. <laughs> Or three, maybe. I don't know. Or one. I don't know. I don't know. But it's not that many. We got a lot of talent resets. Honestly, um, I I just, it's good to have these. I don't know. This is from Lost Canyon. Oh, this is from this current season. This is for next season of Looster and Scrolls, I think. And then we've got lots of arrows and books. I should probably trade those in, but whatever. Oh, we got some ghost candy. Dude, we got, I think this is from the original Halloween event and I don't know why they left this in the game, but they did. Oh, and I got two more kinks. I don't know. I remember this Google play gift card, uh, promotion. So I got three of them because YOLO we have bandit torch. I don't know what exactly this event was, but yeah, 885 legendary sculpts. I'm going to be using about half of these on Guan Yu probably, which is really disappointing because that means i'm not gonna have enough for both yss and theodora and zenobia i'm not even gonna have enough for two of those even so yeah um that's disheartening but hey it, it is what it is no one cares about stars but um yeah we got 330 tzatzo if you guys want you can have them i don't need these 26 charles martel either so yeah, and the 853 Ethel Flood. I had like 2,000 of these, and then I just started using them to level up. I don't remember what commander it was. I think I brought like my, I think I brought my Isong to like five stars with with just Ethel Flood or something like that. I don't know. These are all the limited uh, decorative structures that I have. I think this is only the ones that I don't have out in my city, but we've got quite a few of these. Lots of special ribbons here. I'm a very special boy. Uh, <laughs> I remember that first Christmas event. They had a Christmas tree and then an elegant Christmas tree. I'm like. Cool it with the upsell, man. No one cares about your elegant Christmas tree. These are all the ones that I think I actually just have built in my city somewhere. The ones that are grayed out here. I'm, pr I think I have all the decorative structures. I don't remember. I think I do. We got statue of the Sphinx over here. Um, Throne of Power looks pretty dope, honestly. This one was from the recent Osiris League. Osiris League. Tra Trajan Fountain? Is that not supposed to be Trojan Fountain? I don't know. Whatever. We got the Smiling Babylon. There's the kinks that I actually did uh, put in the city. I do have more. The idea was I was going to put one here, one here, and then one here. And then the game just released so many decorative structures that I was like, okay, I'll just have one then. And then up front, we got the Firefly Lanterns. Oh, I do think I am missing one. I think I'm missing one that has like the paper lanterns when the city's at nighttime. I don't know. I don't remember. Oh, and we got the little kite over here. These are the nameplates that I have. I don't know if people actually care about nameplates, but I pretty much have the same nameplates as i do avatar frames i think um we got the bamboo one and everything i don't have the avatar frame for the matadors of galia though that's a big bu big bummer big bummer that's for sure but yeah it seems like i have most of these usually these come around with like a recharge event for a holiday and so i always just get them because i'm buying the holiday bundle i never really think about like collecting them too much but yeah there's a lot of these that i don't have as well so it is what it is, ladies and gentlemen. I can't think of anything else that you would want to see about the account other than that I've finished Expedition, but I'm sure you've assumed that I've done that already because I'm T5. So now onto the question you've all been waiting for, and that is how much have you spent on Rise of Kingdoms? Ladies and gentlemen, let's take a look at the spreadsheet that I compiled today. You can see here that I imported this directly from my Chase bank account uh, statement. So I filtered by Lilith Mobile because that shows up quite a bit, as you can see. Uh, the posted, you can see the transaction date and the amount is over here on the right. Um, so we can scroll through here and this is this is all blue stacks, right? Okay, this is all blue stacks here. And then once we get down here, these are um, just direct purchases on, on different cards. I rarely ever use these cards, but I found these purchases on, on those accounts um, I spent 85 on this one PayPal transaction somehow and then the rest of this was all on the App Store for Apple because I used to only play on my phone until I found blue stacks shameless plug link in the description download blue stacks well because it's my favorite way to play so anyway we're gonna scroll down here and you're gonna see the grand total of three thousand five hundred and ninety five dollars and eighty six cents is the total amount that I have spent 
on Rise of Kingdoms in 811 days, which means that I've spent roughly $4.43 per day on this game, which is roughly a cup of coffee from Starbucks, right? So think of it that way, except coffee is a normal purchase, whereas this is obviously some sort of addiction. It's roughly $133 per month, I could be playing a game like World of Warcraft for $15 a month and it actually has 3D graphics and 20 years of content, or I could just keep playing a mobile game for $133. I put this little note here because I've used at least $400 of rewards points. Now that's actually included in here, so meaning I actually have only spent $3,195.86 because at least 400 of those dollars came from actually cash back points that I didn't spend any money on. It actually, I think, is more than 400, but I couldn't find proof of the older ones that I used to do. So I just, I'm assuming, I'll, we'll just call it even at 400. So yeah, $3,600 on a mobile game. This is the most expensive game that I've ever purchased or played. You know, you would think that I would have way more max to legendaries given how much I've spent and how long I've played the game, but I was also super casual for a very long time. So it wasn't until like, wasn't until right around the end of T4, beginning of T5, where I really started to like, that's when I started spending. At least 2,400 of those dollars happened in 2020 alone. So that's how you know that the beginning of my, of my Rise of Kingdoms journey, I barely spend anything because well two thirds of the purchase happened in like half in less than half of my playtime. anyway guys if you made it all the way to the end of the video hopefully you will drop a thumbs up on it it really does help out the channel a ton subscribe to the channel if you're new around here and click that bell to be notified the next time that i upload a rise of kingdoms video like i said i just finished my legendary tier list so there's going to be some legendary videos coming very very soon comment down below telling me what you think about my account tell me uh why am i looking at the elm tell me if you're surprised at how much i've spent if you think that that's reasonable given my play time and my power level i will say that i have made uh some money off of youtube from this game just from ad revenue and stuff so that does obviously influence my spending on the game of course if you are spending on a mobile game you should only ever spend what you can afford to spend i am not in credit card debt i have zero credit card debt so do not go into credit card debt for this game this is advice that i live by you should too anyway as always my social media links are in the description below so make sure you follow me over there on instagram i post there way more than youtube follow me over on twitter discord everything is in the description below as well as a link to download rise of kingdoms absolutely for free for your pc or your Mac. It's a program called Blue Stacks. I talked about it earlier, but it is my favorite way to play Rise of Kingdoms. And like I said, it's free. So click that link and give it a try. With that being said, guys, thank you so much for watching. This has been Omniarch. I will talk to you guys again soon. Peace.